girl, it's me and you until the end. There ain't no other girl I could dream of being with cause you are my world. And I know that we can go on forever. But lately you've been arguing with me, saying I'm cheating. You ain't got a worry about the things I got you. What's up everybody, Charlie here from StillGearReview.com with another cigar review video for you. Uh, as always, things are busy around here, uh, even more so than usual with the, uh, the new job and everything. Uh, so I've just got a, a first impressions video for you today. Uh, today I'm going to be smoking uh, the La Sirena Prince. This is a, the Prince um, Vitola is a 5x50 Robusto. Um, La Serena is made by uh, one of the, it's one of the lines from Miami Cigar. Um, I actually picked up this individual stick uh, at the, uh, the Delaware Cigar Festival last year. Uh, purchased it actually right from uh, the, uh, the lovely uh, Ariel Dikovich, the uh, brand ambassador for uh, La Serena. Um, so this has been sitting in my Coolador for you know, a couple of months, so I'm looking forward to uh, uh, jumping in and seeing how it goes. Uh, looking at the wrapper, um, well actually I'll tell you about the blend first. Uh, it's a uh, Connecticut Broadleaf Maduro wrapper. Uh, it's got two binders, a uh, two Cuban seed Nicaraguan binders, as the uh, Miami website says, uh, a Nicaraguan Cri uh, Criollo uh, 98 and a Corojo 96. Uh, and from what I can tell, it also has Nicaraguan fillers. Uh, looking at the wrapper, it's a nice uh, chocolatey brown color. Um, let's see, there are a couple of couple of veins in there, but nothing too severe. One little crack in the wrapper down by the foot. I don't know if you can pick that out, but again, nothing nothing too um, you know worrisome. Uh, the band is enormous. Uh, on the smallest vitola, it covers you know, gosh, about. Is that two thirds of the uh, of the length of the cigar? It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, band too. Uh, mermaid theme, you know, so nautical sort of uh, symbols on there. I don't know the light sun is out a little bit, so uh, the lighting's going to be weird. But anyway, um, smelling the wrapper, I'm getting some uh, some nice chocolate and uh, and earthy notes. On the uh, the foot is nice and, and nice and bold. Um, maybe some more along the lines of uh, coffee from the uh, from the foot. Let me go ahead and slice the cap off. Hmm. My paleo cutter. <sighs> Yikes. Okay. A little bit of problems here. There's. Uh, Slicing off the cap, I kind of took a bit of a, a void out of there. Almost looks like a punch, too. And uh, cracked the shit out of the wrapper right at the cap. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. Um, yeah, I wish I had some of that uh, glue stuff, that vegetable paste. That's going to be a pain in the ass. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to rip that right off because it's coming off sooner or later anyway. Okay. So there we see some of the uh, exposed binder there. So, kind of ugly now at the top, but hopefully it'll hold together better. Draws a little bit on the open side. And on the cold draw I'm getting some, uh, some nice dark fruit. So I'll go ahead and, and light this up with my uh, new Zycar Stratosphere lighter. Get this all toasty. See, I'm coming to you from uh, Virginia today where I've been living temporarily uh, as my new house gets ready. Um, it's been about a month and a half of the new job and it's absolutely fantastic. Um, really, really enjoying it, you know interesting work, great people to work with, you know, it feels like the, the company really, really takes care of you. So that's a nice, uh, 
a nice combination of things to have in a job. Um, so feeling kind of lucky with that. All right. Toasting this up. Seems to be taking a little bit of a while. Get a nice even toast for a nice even burn. Dead air, dead air, dead air. All right, let me see how that goes. Put some flame to it. All right. We're off the bat and got some nice, uh, some nice sweetness to it. Good amount of smoke. Hmm. There's a flavor component there that I can't quite put my uh, put my finger on. Almost like a graham cracker, but um, not quite. I don't know. Interesting. Yeah, so the first couple of puffs, um, some sweetness, um, some chocolate and coffee, uh, nothing too overwhelming, so pretty pretty balanced from the start. Um, getting some, some pepper on the finish, which is pretty nice. So, uh, yeah, except for that one flavor that I can't quite... Um, can't quite get a name for uh, pretty typical uh, Nicaraguan so far, but um, let me get into a little bit into this, and uh, I'll check back in and let you know how things are going. All right, just past the first third of my La Serena Prince from Miami Cigar, and um, as you can probably already tell in the video, um, well, for one thing, I had to take the uh, the band off almost immediately, obviously, because I didn't want to be smoking that huge band. Um, and uh, a couple of puffs later, as the cigar was resting, um, I started hearing an audible popping and got a little worried. And uh, sure enough, a nasty crack has developed in the uh, in the wrapper here, running. You know. Uh, more than half the length of the cigar. Let's see, a better angle to, there we go. Now you can see. That's a pretty scary wrap, or a crack in the wrapper, so. Um, Burn-wise, other than that, the burn's going pretty well. Nice, uh, relatively even burn line, especially for a broad leaf. Um, the ash is a nice, uh, compact, light white. It's been holding on pretty good, or light gray, I should say. Um, almost looks a bit like coral, as you can see, a little sort of, I mean, it, it's, on some parts it's more, you know, stratified like you normally see in other parts, I don't know, itty bitty tiny voids in there, but not, uh, you know, nothing bad or anything, just sort of an interesting pattern. Uh, Flavor-wise, uh, you know, still, still where I was before, um, some pepper, uh, some coffee, some earthiness. That flavor I couldn't find or put a, put a, a name on before. You know, it's sort of a, I don't know, woodiness, I guess I would say, if, if forced to, to put a descriptive word to it. Um, but so far, I mean, you know, obviously the, the crack in the wrapper is concerning. But other than that, it, it's, smoking, it's smoking pretty well, so I'm just going to have to sort of keep an eye on that wrapper, make sure the whole thing doesn't fall apart on me, but uh, you know, flavor-wise I'm enjoying it. Uh, nothing too outrageous, but uh, you know, decent um, decent uh, Nicaraguan tobacco wrapped with a Connecticut Broadleaf. So uh, I'll keep going, see, uh, see how this crack continues to develop, and uh, check back with Ian in a little bit. All right, back around the uh, halfway point of my La Sirena. And um, despite that, you know, hell of a crack in the wrapper, things are actually going pretty well. Um, I haven't even had to, to touch up uh, the wrapper at all. Um, you know, the burn is doing a, a decent enough job taking care of that for me. Uh, it's burning kind of quickly. Um, 
it's only been about uh, half an hour or so and I'm already down to here. Um, and the crack, sort of the back side of the crack is starting to, back side of the crack is starting to open up too. <laughs> Man. Um, so, I mean, that wrapper is now ugly as hell, but, you know, looks aren't everything. Uh, it's smoking good. The flavors are good. I'm, you know, nice and uh, um, certainly full, full flavored. Uh, lots of peppery spice. Um, hasn't really transitioned all that much. Um, maybe the, the pepper has been building and the, 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 the body has been building, but um, no real changes in the flavor. Still more of a, you know, uh, earthy coffee, uh, maybe some chocolate in there. There's a, there's a bit of sweetness, but um, uh, really loving that actual, that, uh, that, that pepper on the finish. You know, black pepper, um, black pepper zing is, is actually quite nice. Um, not much of a, not much of a nicotine hit just yet. Uh, I know the cigar's build is, is full bodied, uh, full strength, but um, you know, only really in the medium to full for me right now, but we'll see how it does at the end. Um, the burn's good, you know, other than obviously the, the, the wrapper, uh, things have been going okay, no touch-ups at all whatsoever. Um, you know, I was worried with that, that huge crack in the wrapper that I'd have to, you know, babysit the hell out of it, but it's been going fine actually. Um, you know, the inside of the, uh, the filler isn't burning as fast as the outside, so I'm getting a sort of a, a cone even though um, I'm not trying to smoke it fast. You know, so you often will get that, that shape in the ash if you're really huffing and puffing away on it, which I'm not. Uh, great amount of smoke volume. So, uh, you know, kind of, uh, you know, I'm enjoying it quite a bit actually. You know, like I said, despite the, despite that beast of a wrapper. So, I'll, uh, Keep going on, keep smoking this, and um, you know, wrap things up in a little bit, and uh, let you know how everything turned out. All right, uh, got to kind of wrap things up here uh, with the La Serena Prince. Um, you know, it is starting to really become an issue. This cracked wrapper. Um, let's see if I can get a good angle on it, so you can see that light coming through. Uh, really sort of, sort of completely pulling away to the point where I think I'm just going to uh, pitch the rest of the wrapper here. Um, which is kind of disappointing. I mean, uh, and the binder even kind of wants to come apart. But um, well, here's what it looks <laughs> with its uh, wrapper off, wrapperless, dressless. Um, Yeah, and the, the draw is now way too open. Um, so kind of a dif disappointing uh, finish here uh, to the La Serena. You know, I, I did quite enjoy the flavors, um, but that crack in the wrapper just basically, um, you know, this last third is, is almost going to be unsmokable. Um, so, and certainly I'm not going to get the, the full flavor that I'm supposed to get uh, with the wrapper. So. Um, like I said before, I, I quite enjoyed uh, the flavors, uh, and hopefully this is just a uh, uh, an issue with a single stick um, with the with the wrapper here. I mean, it's been in kept very well in my my humidor. You know, nice consistent uh, temperature and humidity, and you know, nice controlled environment. Um, but uh, you know, maybe I'll chalk this up to a bad wrapper. I'm definitely willing to uh, you know give La Serena another try. Um, like I said, good flavors, but this wrapper sort of uh, ruined things for me here at the end. Yeah, as you saw early on, I was getting lots and lots of smoke volume, which is quite nice, but now it's just way too open, um, barely getting anything. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to pitch this with a bit more of the last final third to smoke. But uh, overall, somewhat disappointing with that wrapper, but um, you know, definitely worth, uh, worth checking out. Uh, and I'll certainly uh, give it another try. So, uh, as always, until next time, thanks for watching and keep smoking.